This here is like somebody who is constantly worried about their health, constantly worried about their See, that's, physical that's, health. This here is a concoction that's, that has um, been concocted. That's your opinion. Not, not um, sort of but like it's, it's an opinion that you're giving me no, because... But that's what you, that you don't know me. Because I am slim, does it have to mean that I have an issue with food? Well, I'll allow you to have your fish and your Thank potatoes you. and peas analysed free. I'm not sure if I could cope with a, another dinner session like that. It's the final morning of the swap, and Stefan will not be sorry to see the back of the terrible trio. Oh, I, may, I may cry. I may cry through this. This has been one of the toughest emotional challenge and journeys I have ever, ever faced in my life. The lifestyle that I left is and has to change in every aspect. I think I'm going to have to be more honest, more open, and more true to myself. Can we high five? Last series, I went on an epic journey to find the ultimate weight loss solution. I was three weeks into my mission to get a model body, and so far I've tried the apple diet, colonic massage, and even surgery. But to be honest, none of them floated my boat. So another thing on my agenda was diet pills. After I sifted through the vast array on offer, I decided to try Hoodia, a herbal supplement that promised to suppress my appetite. OK, it's not going to work. Bon appetit. Oh, already vile. So yesterday, all I had to eat was a banana. And today, all I've had to eat or drink is a cup of tea. So, nil by mouth, nearly. Whilst I've been researching the minefield that is a diet market, I found out about a very strange pill that made you lose fat in a rather unpleasant way. 46-year-old Denise Townsend has always struggled with her weight and at her heaviest was 32 stone. So she was prepared to try anything, even pills, that make you poo your fat. It gets rid of all the fat out of your body. It certainly does. You're sitting on the loo for the next few weeks while you take it. It's absolutely horrendous. And even though I lost two pounds, after seeing what Dr Tony Moffat had to say about the plethora of diet pills on the market... Your heart will stop, you'll have a heart attack. I decided that pill popping was not the way to a perfect body. So, on with the search. I tried the apple diet and failed, but I wondered what was the latest celebrity diet craze. I'd read about a diet that was rumoured to help Jennifer Aniston, Reese Witherspoon and Marsha Cross stay so slim. I was about to embark on the baby food diet. The idea is that I replace two out of three meals a day for the next week with a single pot of organic baby food. Delicious organic meals prepared with care using the finest ingredients, just like home cooking. No wonder mums prefer this. Now, these are not magic weight loss pots. The diet is supposed to work simply because each little jar only contains 82 and a half calories, which is less than a quarter of the recommended average grown-up lunch. So I reckon I can lose at least three pounds on this. It's not complete without the bib. OK, this is a real baby experience. This is a real Jennifer Aniston experience. I'm judging that this is what she does every day. I can't understand why celebrities put themselves through this bizarre diet, but I suppose having your squidgy bits plastered all over the glossies every day would make you go to any lengths to stay in shape. To find out, I'm getting right into the shoes of a celebrity for the day by being papped. Now, why do you want to go and put stars in their eyes? Why do you want to go and put stars in their eyes? To further my investigation into what it's like being in the spotlight and under the microscope, I've hired celebrity snapper Max Chisotti. <gasps> I think we could call these how not to get out of a car. Not exactly ladylike, is it? Look, look no. have you seen my gussets? That's shocking. And this is why the celebrities shouldn't eat in public when you're bending over to make sure that your trousers are pulled up. <laughs> There's not one nice picture. 
If I were a celeb and I was plastered all over magazines week in, week out, and I saw these pictures, I would be, I am, desperately upset. And I can totally understand why you, you could become obsessed. <laughs> Nightmare. I'm finding the baby food way of life hard to handle. That is absolutely revolting. You know when babies do this? I know why. There is a reason why babies are sick. It's this. They don't want to eat it anymore. And we're trying to shove it into their faces and they don't want it. And neither do I. I'm sure it's fine for nippers, but I think it's disgusting. I've been on the baby food diet for five days and I've lost two pounds, which is amazing, given that I'm so constipated. OK, me and baby food. It's over! Finished! Please, somebody, somebody, phone up Jennifer Aniston and tell her. It's not enough food. So, halfway through my crazy journey and only half a stone down. Join me next time when I investigate if losing weight is all in the mind. How old are you? About nine. Kevin has completed his five-day diet swap and has been following Dr. Jessen's healthy eating plan for nine hey, weeks. Kevin, how are you? Nice to see you. His weigh-in with Dr. Jessen will reveal whether he's got himself up to a more healthy weight. Oh, look, Leigh. And you? He's reunited with Diet Swap partner Julie to share the results. So, Kevin, do you remember how much you weighed when I first met you? Um, I can't remember exactly, but it was eight something. Eight stone five. Now, you've put on four pounds. You're eight stone nine. I, I, I am pleased, and it's a step in the right direction, and it's the continuation of it afterwards. He's also put three and a half inches on his waist and half an inch on each thigh. But has Kevin's feeding buddy, Julie, seen the benefits of a healthy diet plan and lost any weight? You're 24 stone 10. You've lost nearly two stone. <gasps> One stone 10 pounds. Oh, what do you think of that? Shocked. What do you think? Well I think I've lost that much. It's fantastic. That's nearly two stone you've lost. What it seems like is I've got two different people standing in front of me now. Doing this show made me realise that I did need to make some changes when I went home and that I can achieve it if I do persevere and try hard. Kevin and Julie tackled their new eating regimes and reaped the benefits. Let's hope Stefan and Elizabeth can do the same. They also returned to the clinic to find out. OK, guys, let's get down to the important bit, is whether you've lost or gained accordingly, yeah? So, Elizabeth, you've gone from 6 stone 2 to 6 stone 11. Are you kidding me? You have put on 9 pounds, which is phenomenal. I'm gobsmacked. What do you think of that, Stefan? You know, I didn't think it was that much. But for supersized Stefan, the key question is how much he's managed to shift. You were 34 stone 9. Mm -hmm. You're now 33 stone 8. Oh, that's fantastic. You've lost over a stone. Oh, that's, that's brilliant. Before, it was just a same old thing. Work, sleep, eat. I've had enough, and I'm never, ever, ever going back to the life that I was leading. Kevin and Stefan have followed the doctor's orders and have exceeded their own expectations. But a year down the line, have they kept on track or have their diet plans run off course? A year ago, we met super skinny Kevin and supersized Stefan. They checked into the feeding clinic in order to put a stop to their dangerous eating habits. Their five-day diet swaps were tough going. Is it hitting home a bit? Yeah. But after following their healthy eating plans for three months, we saw Kevin pile on four pounds and Stefan lose an impressive 15 pounds. I've had enough and I'm never, ever, ever going back to the life that I was leading. So now, after a year on their plans, we're catching up with them at home to see if they've changed their eating habits for good and are living a healthier lifestyle. First, we'll join Kevin at home in Brighton. He's still holding down two jobs, but he's made some big changes since we last saw him. The last year's been really good in the fact that even though my weight keeps on fluctuating up and down, I feel healthier in myself from making sure that I do eat food properly. 
Kevin's biggest improvement has been to get three main meals into his busy day. Before the swap, um, I didn't have breakfast in the morning. I'd have a cup of coffee or a cup of tea and a, and a fag. Uh, but now I consciously make the effort to get up and try and have like some toast or some cereal or some crumpets or yogurt, just so that I've got something before I do go to work. Kevin still needs to learn about sitting down to eat, but at least he's enjoying his food now. Like I went for a carvery about a month ago and my bar manager, my best friend, turned around and actually said, can you actually fit any more on your plate? Which, probably a year ago, I wouldn't have been in that situation at all. And it's not just his appetite that's improved. Kevin's noticing other positive benefits from his new diet. I do feel better in, in the sense that I'm feeling more confident about my physique, I'm feeling more confident about my appearance. So a year ago, these jeans didn't used to fit me and they used to be really baggy on me, but I, now they, I, I fill them out and I don't need to wear a belt and it feels really good to be able to wear clothes that actually do fit properly. And a lot of people say that my skin looks a lot healthier and a lot better since the swap. A year ago, Kevin lived on a mainly liquid diet and weighed into the feeding clinic at eight stone five pounds. Now, he's put on a whopping 10 pounds and is nine stone one. I do look back now and think, how did I survive on just orange juice for my evening meal? But I've come back and I've made the changes. I'm really proud of what I've achieved in the last year because I've gone away and I've re-evaluated my life and changed it for the better. I'm really impressed with Kevin because he's managed to totally change his lifestyle to fit in proper meals. He's increased his nutritional intake and he's no longer relying on coffee and fags for a quick fix. So I'm really impressed with how he's done. The second person we're catching up with is supersized Stefan. We join him at home in Northern Ireland. I really hope this show was the reality check that he needed and that he's kept on track with his weight loss. Here we go. Here we go. When I seen the food coming down that tube, I don't know, it must have been coming out of Narnia. It was just coming forever and ever and ever. But what you seen was what I ate. It was frightening. Life changing? Yeah. So Stefan has been given the wake up call he desperately needed. A year ago, Stefan weighed 34 stone 9 pounds. Now, with a healthier attitude towards his diet, He's lost nearly three stone. My weight now is 32 stone. First time in 15 years that I haven't put weight on in a year, that I have actually reversed the process, that weight has come off. Of course, it's, it's no world record, but it's a start. And for, for a guy who's been fighting his food addiction all his life, it's, it's just fantastic. It's, it's great. For Stefan, controlling his diet is a daily struggle. The massive change to that was stop eating big, disgusting sausage rolls and big, disgusting Northern Ireland bops. But I'm not saying the carbs didn't find me. The carbs have found me on many occasions and, you know, in, in, in times of weakness. Um, you know, I, I've been weak. Sure, I've been weak. But Stefan has shown real strength in motivating himself to get active again. I started to walk. Um, I walked around and I, I started to meet people I hadn't seen in years. And all of a sudden, from a very reclusive social life, new friends were found. After all the changes he's made this year, Stefan is optimistic about the future. I want to be happy. And in my head, I know what I want. I want to have the confidence to go up to someone and say, hey, do you want to go for a drink? I want to have the confidence to go out and dress in beautiful, lovely clothes that, that fit. I can picture it. Can I do it? I hope so. Stefan's weight loss is really a remarkable achievement. He's gone away and addressed the issues that he had with food and made some essential changes that may actually have saved his life.